We only had four regarded ones. Six. We have six regarded ones. Yeah, but it only hope. The thing. No, I'm just saying we might get on the charge of that hope more. All right. What's going on, YouTube? It's me, Tiffany, and I'm here with my co-host, Tanea. Hey guys. And we're back for an all-new scandal review. I'm probably like 85% sure that there are less people watching this review after the Paley Fest that just happened. Did you have to tell you about the Paley Fest? I, I asked you this morning. Yeah, I was, I was kind of telling you. Yeah, yeah. the Paley Fest, um, um, they asked Shonda, you know, about the whole Olitz thing and, you know, them breaking up and stuff and... She didn't give the answer that people wanted because people like me are still holding on. And even after she said that, I'm, I'm still, still holding on. Like, sometimes she lies. Sometimes she does sometimes lie. Sometimes she said we so wasn't replacing like, Carrington and we did. Exactly. So she's a liar. Exactly. Perfect. Don't believe nothing she Perfect says. Perfect point. So it's like, y'all really need to calm down because if y'all wasn't watching Scandal before or pretending that you weren't, Y'all definitely weren't into that. I see y'all every week tweeting. Don't get me started. Don't, y'all not watching. Don't get me started on Kim. Huh. Girl. I was going to say, I even saw somebody else and I don't even follow that you follow tweeting about Scandal. And I remember you told me that they wasn't watching Scandal no more. And I was like, who? What did he do on Tweet? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Oh, girl. I like, girl. Oh, girl. So, yes. anyway. I'm high not on. It's nothing else for this. Ah! <laughs> Congratulations. You <laughs> played yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so, the name of this episode was I See You. I felt like wearing. I'm starting to notice that depending on what the episode is about and how it makes <laughs> me feel, that's the shirt that I wear that night. So, tonight I'm just wearing a plain old scandal shirt because this is scandal like this is scandal this is it's it's just sucking scandal it's scandal the only thing that's missing is olit so i understand how y'all feel but at the same time the show is called scandal and that's what people's problems are they're like because shonda and, and she also said what people need to realize is that this show is not about this is not a romance show. This is not about romance. But it's see, not romantic. That's her, that's her fucking problem. Right? She that's set people, people up. up. You set people that's up. That's what I'm saying. Just like you did on Grey's Anatomy. She set people up and, you know, they forgot that the show is actually called Scandal. So it's mainly about what was happening tonight. But the thing Scandals. about it is, it's, it was scandalous because she was in love with the president. See, what That's the whole premise of the show, Shonda. Like, don't play with us. Don't piss on us and tell us raining. We know what's going on. Don't turn into one of these people that's what I'm just saying. The thing is, is y'all need to read Shonda Rhimes' book, Year of Yes, because I promise you I got a better understanding of who Shonda Rhimes is after I watched it. And I'm telling you, the lady does not believe in happy relationships at all. The thing is, all, she does so you not never respect, get one. She does not respect the union. She does not respect men. Oh, Lord. Like, I can go on and on. Shonda is literally a hater. She's all about... She might as well be a lesbian. Sh but she don't even care about lesbian relationships because she don't care about relationships at all. We're encouraging the people. You're pushing them back to the angry state that they're in. This means war. So, anyway, the name of this episode was I See You, and I enjoyed it. I have a couple of things to say about it, but I oh, did I enjoy it. Oh, I got a lot to say. So, the first thing I'm going to talk about is a little fake-ass dinner in the beginning with Papa Pope, the new girlfriend, Jake, and Liv. And, you know, the whole thing was just corny. This whole Olivia Pope cooking, being domestic shit. Is Hold on. Olivia Pope cooked? I don't know if she cooked, but I know she was, you know, she, she was, just, she was discussing the food and... You know, just acting like a normal person. Olivia Pope's not normal, so when she does these things, it's, it's weird. weird. I always tell Tiffany, Carrie Washington is a wonderful actress. Olivia Pope is not. She's not. She's actually trash. She is. I don't believe anything. Nothing is convincing. So, so you know, that whole get to know the girlfriend, talking about how they met, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, I've heard so much about you. Jake, what did you say about her again? She's like the sister I never had. Shonda, I need to know. I need to know why you're doing this. Can I say something? 
That's some sick ass shit. It's sick, Shonda. Who is writing this? Like, did you tell Shonda? No, who else is writing it? Somebody else is sick along with her. Because, like, the thing about it is, the sister I never had, man, he was banging me on the island. Like, and I the don't island. Mean, and I don't mean with his fist. The island. Like, he was just had his fingers in my vagina last week in my bed. Like, it's too much. If that's what brothers and sisters do, I'm happy I'm my only child. That is nasty. I just don't know, Shonda, because you have five siblings. So I don't know what oh, you're I don't know what you're saying. I don't know where you're taking this, but this is a li- scandal. You know, told the world that weird is good. And I am on team weird is good, but this is some really wicked That's shit. Fuckery. I don't like it's, it. It's just crazy. So it, it's just nasty, and I don't know where you're going at with it, but Mm-mm. the whole time they're having the dinner, they're doing some. We got Quinn and, uh, Quinn and Charlie doing some classic OPA, setting up surveillance cameras in Jake's apartment. You know what? Not to go back. I was just thinking about it. You know what, Shonda Rhimes? Shonda Rhimes got black people doing stuff on TV that we say only white people did. Like, that's the thing. That's why it's so weird to us. Because we be watching it like, this is some pure white people shit. So, wait a minute. And she's all in the middle. What are you doing it? What, what, what are you hinting at right now? Are you... What do you mean? What are you saying right now? Nothing. I'm just saying. <laughs> no. Some stuff is white people shit. I'd be like, what the fuck is Olivia doing? Y'all. Black people don't do this. Um, can I get back to what I was talking about? You don't, I'm, I'm not saying it happened this time. I'm just saying you'll never think about that. Like, you be watching like, Olivia, you know black people don't do that. Definitely. Right. That's what, I'm not saying it happened with that instance. I, 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 I didn't know if you were trying no, to say it No, oh, no. I'm not saying that at all. There are white people who are watching. No. Love you. Yeah. I don't think that you guys are screwing your brothers. Oh, my God. But I that's, didn't mean that. That's kind of how you were referencing. No, I didn't mean it. It, it literally popped in my I head right then, I and I meant to say it. I meant to say it a while ago, but I forgot. But I, that's, I, no white people. I don't think you do that. That's gross. Oh, okay. Back to what I was saying. So we had them setting up surveillance cameras, but Olivia, this is the thing. This is where you lose me because you're like the smartest person I know. One of them anyway. He's also an idiot though. What are you doing? This man is the head of the NSA. I mean, I know that he was a terrible spy at times with B613 because we know what Huck can do and we've seen what Jake does. But at the same time, how stupid do you think this man is? He's probably bugging your phone. Because the thing is, you have to remember... He, he knows how you work now. Right, right. Like, he right. knows your moves. So it's, just, it's stupid. It's just really stupid. Just how, the same way you bugged his house, that's exactly what he did to you. The same exact bug. Like, it's y'all did the same exact thing to each other. Man, he probably watched Quinn and them set up his house. So then we get to Abby finding out, you know, for sure that... Because she asked, um, what's Cyrus' little chief of staff man name? I mean, little assistant name? Ethan. I Ethan. love Ethan. So she, Ethan kind of spilled the beans, but she kind of was already starting to think it anyway. Yeah. But of course she got, uh, who did she get to check it out for? Was it Quinn and Rosen? No, Rosen. She did try to get Quinn to do it. Oh, she said but no. But Quinn was like, I'm too busy running no PA. I don't have time for that shit. Right. So she got Rosen to do it. And... I was really nervous, you guys, because Cyrus is the devil. Yeah. Diablo. Like, you, he could have easily, like, got Abby killed or kidnapped but or the thing shamed or anything. Abby did to him what exactly he would have did. Like, Definitely, two but... Shay, Abby. But after Touche, people like Cyrus, they don't want Touche. They the want to be is, the doer, and you don't do shit to them. Who, who, who works for Cyrus now to kill people? Charlie, though. No. He doesn't have his person anymore. True. You never know with Shonda, though. She could pop up with some new person. Yo, right, because she stayed just bringing shit in like it's trying, like it's been there. Oh, I forgot him and Tom are besties now. True, exactly. Oh, lovers. So, the, well. Lovers of liberty. So the thing is, is I, I was really happy about it, but at the same time, I was nervous for Abby. But I'm so happy that... Everything he said, she was like, no, you're lying. You're lying. Yes. You're still lying. lying. No, you're still lying. It was so funny or, like, just so good to see Cyrus be like, got, got. 
Because he's always no, the guy. No, don't tell him. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. So he finally was the guy. That Just he. getting this job back. I need this. Don't do this to me. Please, Abby. I love Abby. See, because she ain't no bitch. That's the best thing about her. She definitely her. She's ain't no bitch. bitch. Um, oh, I'm, I'm not gonna go there yet because I'm still mad about that. Um, I'm gonna bring it up later. So, of course, Huck is still watching his family, him and Javi, which is sick. But I get it. But I, t I told y'all a season, a, a season or two ago. I don't want Huck to have a family. He don't so need it. I want the. It's no. See, my thing is. Not only do I not want him to have a family, it's no way possible for him to have See, one. The thing so about let's it just is, eliminate that whole storyline. He line. can't be a family man. He can't be a dad. And right. He, and exactly. And the thing is, the reason why he can is because of Kim. Because if he had a wife like me, uh -uh. I wouldn't be all in his business. I want to know if you're killing people. Who have you killed? Tell me. Let's if, don't tell him. Don't tell me if you kill nobody because I'm not going to jail and I don't want to testify against you. You gotta bring this man around your child. Though. That's his daddy. He's not going to kill his own son. But that could bring killers to your home because he's a killer. Well, or they could bring Papa Pope to your home. True that. I mean, it's not like his family. Her, his family almost got got in the past. Like she has to be like that. What type of wife, mother? Are I'm you? a down ass. That's what I I'm not down for no B613 because But see, know, like, we wouldn't have brought no kids into the mix. That's the whole thing. So he's, you know, watching them. I would have had to get his grandmother. In introducing uh, Marcus and shit. You know, they're kind of letting Marcus in the loop and. Her you know, he's looking at Kim's new guy, and he's like, that looks like this guy that I tortured back in the day. He must be trying to get my family to get back at me. Calls Charlie like, I need to find out. I need to get this guy to call him at six toes, because that's the only amount of toes he got left. Let's pluck, pluck the rest of them off. How do you pluck four toes off of a person? Huh? Huck go from zero to a hundred so quick. First of all, you know what? Huck's probably always on a hundred, but it's a mellow hundred. See, no, see, the thing is, Huck's always on a hundred. He goes from like a hundred to a thousand. Okay, okay, that explains it. Because He's never chilling. Huck is never chilling. Huck goes around fucking injecting people so they won't remember anything for the past eight hours. Like he's never chilling. Every move he makes is calculated. He's never chilling. He's constantly watching people. He's crazy as shit. This man literally kidnapped Harold. No, his name I'm is sorry. not Harold. Huck is Harold. Huck is Harold. Kidnapped Sean. Sean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretended to be this nice civilian. Once the man <laughs> realized, like, oh shit, he's driving past the gas station, and Huck was kind of starting to act crazy. He goes to reach for the door handle. Ain't no door handle. Talk dead. about talk about calculated. He done took the damn door, door handle off. Only to find out that this ain't even the man that he thought it was. He done kidnapped. He got all ten of his goddamn toes. Right. He done kidnapped Hive me uh Kim's uh new fiance for nothing. But what I do like about it is that. I really like that Huck is finally about to let it go. I love that Huck didn't kill him. Yeah, because he could have. So thank yeah. God that he just shot him with something and, you know, let him go on about his normal life. But I'm really hoping that he really is about to let go yeah. because this is a pointless ass right. thing. Like, it's just, it's, yeah. it's Sean, to let it go. Just let it go. Okay? Um, What's her name? Be like Elsa and let, let it, it go. go. You know, Melanie. Melanie motherfucking Grant. Melly hasn't been you listening since season one. Never fucking listen. Never. And that is your problem. It's like Bring in her ears. the hooch from out of your fucking ears. Remove that loud ass presidential hair from off your ears so you can fucking hear. And listen, you need to start doing what people tell you to do. From What's wrong with you? Is it like a brain thing? Are you semi like off? Why can't you listen and follow directions? My thing about it with with Melly and, and and anybody who hires Olivia Pope, you know for a fact that this lady is going to get the job done. You know for a fact that 
she is right. Why don't you listen? What's the point of you hiring her if you're going to debate her and not listen? my words. Why would you give her a check if you're not going to listen to what she tells you to do? Listen! Let her do her job. job. What she, what, you, what you're paying her for. It's unbelievable. Everything that happens to Melly from here on out, I don't care. Everything that listen. has happened to Melly from season one is Melly's fault, except for the raping. Every, but that wasn't in season one, it was just a flashback. But right. either way, everything that has happened to Melly, Melly. President getting shot, Melly. Like, it, Melly. You're the worst. Melly, do not talk to Hollis. You still gonna talk to him. Hey, Hollis, let's have a drink. Okay. Melly. What's wrong with you? Do not tell him or agree to anything. Melly, shut the fuck up. Like, Sorry. Melly, what is wrong with you? Like, it's it's annoying. And it was, I, you know. I've never seen an adult who does not follow directions. Like, you want to talk about what you learn in preschool, you learn to follow directions, and you cannot do that. Why does Olivia Pope even have to tell Melly what to do when it comes I'm to Hollis anyway? The thing about That's my if thing. I was Melly, I would stay away, uh, stay away from Hollis as if he was herpes. I would have nothing to do with him. I Talk to Hollis, but what? No! Now, I wish I could have been as excited as everybody else when Hollis hit the screen because back when Tony was, um, he was doing, uh, one of those, probably Entertain Tonight or somebody's mm -hmm. Instagram, and he was doing all the behind the scenes stuff, he took a picture of a table read, and we all saw Hollis. Well, most of us saw him. So I knew he was coming, and I knew it was probably going to be this episode, so it wasn't a big surprise, but... Who else to bring in if you need money? Yo, right. And the thing is, it's just like, when you mess with Hollis, it's literally like getting herpes. Get like, in a bed with the lay low for a while, and then when you least expect, pop, pop up. Pop, pop, like, pop, 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 it's pop, just, pop. and then the thing is, like, it's never on no good shit. Like, just like what fits. You was literally in front of the vice president about, like, trying to Sneak out. Oh, because you remember how you won the first election. Right. No, 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 no. We're not there yet. Oh. Don't, 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 don't even get there yet. Because I almost jumped through the TV. Don't even get there yet. So, you know, he goes from Melly. He's not, I mean, he's not, Melly's not really saying or agreeing to the things that he wants. So, he talks to Susan. Susan's kind of like, hmm, maybe. Okay, I don't you know. know. Playing his little game. Mm, we'll see. Not Fitz. Not Fitz. Because the thing about it is, Fitz knows. And I feel like, and he can't really tell Susan like Susan. Right. You really can't fuck with him because yada 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 yada. yada. So he's just like, I gotta kind of like interrupt this or destroy it some kind of way. See, but the thing about but it Susan is, really don't want to work with how it's doing. But no, see, because I just feel like y'all are a little too friendly for even me with Hollis because not only should Hollis not be in Washington. I would treat Hollis not like Not only should Hollis not be in the White House, Hollis should not be able to breathe I mean, you, by the Oval Office. Are you crazy? Yo, Hollis should not be able to come on the lawn. Like, he shouldn't be able to come in the White House. Hollis... Like I said, I would treat him like the plague. He wouldn't be like, no. He wouldn't be invited to nothing. Nothing. It's nothing that anybody could try to talk me into. No, just give him a chance to see him out. Well, hell no. Hell no. Because, so no, and then no, also, no. Hollis is also the type, when he getting hot water, he's bringing you down too. Like, he's just really not the type of person that so, you do know, any type of business with, honestly. He's in there, and you know, he's trying to just let him and Susan talk. And then Hollis is saying some shit that he not trying to hear. So Fitz is just like, uh-uh, no, I can't do this. Don't do it, Susan. It's not a good right. idea. Hollis, get the fuck out. Yada, you know, I didn't need you for my... And he's like, you mean your second term, right? Not your first one. Because you do remember how you got elected but, for the first one. see, the thing is, he didn't know that's actually how he got elected until after he got elected. Don't fucking play with him. See, the thing is... See, that right there, that was enough. Dip. Baby dip. Hollis was about to spill the hottest tea of the entire scandal See, the thing is, era. And it's fake to the punch them in the mouth. It's not the president that 
goes back to not being able to do certain stuff because you're the president. Did he you say it all the time. No hole, right? Which McCall it? You can't punch Hollis Doyle. He punch okay, see, never mind. I yeah, that goes back to him being the president. He can't just can't punch Hollis Doyle in the fucking mouth. You can get him out of here. So once Hollis leaves, Hollis goes back and have another meeting with Melly. But this time, this bitch is giving ideas. No, hold on. Shit. You know what he did? Get her drunk. Get a bitch drunk, especially off that dog shit. Lips get. He could have got a jump off her favor. Her moonshine and still got them loose ass lips. And what did he do, Shonda? When I found out that Hollis was coming back, I knew you was gonna take it there, but I didn't know you was gonna take it there. You went there. You really brought Donald Trump onto scandal. So which one is Hillary? I can't. I really cannot. Like this, Hollis was talking about building walls and everything. I can't, Shonda. But I am here for us building a Donald Trump and like really abusing him if you want. Yeah, to I like that. That, was that nice would be time. nice if that you let nice Jake time. or somebody whip his ass because I don't, you know, since it's not exactly real life, we can do more. Like we can do what we really want to do to Trump. Yeah. And the good thing about this is Shonda will always take a situation where we might not win in real life and make us win on TV. Right. Like with, uh, uh, what was that shit? The lawn oh, chair. Yeah, the lawn chair. Yeah, well, What's uh, the name of that? that, that Ferguson. Thing? My, I know, but I was kind of, the Brandon Bill. Yeah, the Brandon Bill. So, yeah. So, I, I, I am here for that, but I just don't know where this is going to go. Like, this is really turning into my real life right now because it's a presidential race going on in my real life and on my fucking favorite show, Shonda. So, I just, it's a lot. It's a lot, okay? Okay. I just, I just want you to know it's really a lot. I really don't care anything about David. You know, I did hear him tell David Abby, is a piece of shit. I need your help and I between two women. He burns the both of them. We don't care that would, help. Wouldn't that be a nice time if, like, both of them, like, get the clap and they both have the same, like, prescription and they like, hey, why do you have this I don't want Susan to get hey, the clap. Hey, why do you have this prescription? I don't want Susan to get the clap. But I'm just saying. No, if it was Melly... And Liz, like when they was both fucking Andrew, that's a different story. Well, what is we are here for Susan. We don't right. want Susan to get the clap. No, I can't let you. I can't. She's the only clean person we have on this show. We need her to stay clean. So of Why course, get the clap. I, sorry. You can get rid of that. No, we don't want Susan to get burned. All right. So back to Jake seeing the cameras and, you know, looking up into the camera like, Hey Liv, I see you watching me screw my new girlfriend. He decides to bring his ass over and he's like, What's the cameras? You know what I'm tired of, Shonda, see, because I, I, I can't say it enough. Kill Jake. We have no need for him anymore. At all. Seriously, like, this that isn't even a... give him a fucking real-ass job. This is not him. even an Olitz thing anymore. This isn't a robbery thing. I literally cannot understand why this man is still in the show. I'm, I'm, I'm serious here He right has now. had every fucking job. If I have to hear the you chose him shit again, I will die. I literally cannot. If I have to hear the... I can reach you in places that he never could again, I will die. I can't. I really can't. So, of course, he comes over and he's like, of course I heard you. I mean, I know you was watching me, bitch. I'm the original Spire. Did you like it? Did you watch us? Did you get off? I would have slept. I would have slept Jake so hard. He probably would have slept me back. Like... I blame this one on Olivia Pope. Like I said, that was too... That you was dumb. You should have did something else. Put a track on his fucking car. Something. Not his apartment. He's not that stupid. He's a little stupid. But not that He's stupid. He's not that stupid. But I'm, I'm really getting tired of the whole... And then he try, Then he always trying to read Liv and then she read him. It's just... It's too much. Because the it's thing too much. is... The, the thing is... She's really not jealous. She really knows you're up to something. Stop making it seem as though she's jealous. Mm -hmm. She was only using you for your penis. See, nothing else. Is, Jake, I don't understand how she could be jealous when she could have you. You were just in her room last week with your hands in her vagina talking about, do you like it right there? That's exactly what you did. Nobody is jealous of her. I could have you. And now you're here telling me 
I'm serious with her. I really do love her as as much as you think. If you've been brainwashed I'm by your dad, her. I'm in love with her. This you is only, real. You love her because she can love you because I don't love you. I'm in love with the president. That's why you love her. And now I did like the poet you said because she can actually love me back. Now I'm with you getting a new girlfriend, but I know this bitch is a setup. Right. That's the whole thing. Like I want you to have a new girlfriend. Trust me. I'm so sick of them dragging. You know, innocent people yeah. onto this show to get fucked up. Yeah. Like Governor Vargas. Like, or whatever his name is. It's just sad. So, Abby, who is mm -hmm. the, the bad mm -hmm. bitch of this. So, she basically, you know, calls um, Cyrus out. And, you know, she, she ends up, even though she told Cyrus that she wouldn't tell... She still ended up telling the president. Because she wanted that job. And she went off. She, she was that like, But before that, she did talk to Liv. And Liv did talk. And see, I really don't know how I feel about Abby being the chief of staff. Because it's a dirty job. The thing, I don't know about her being chief of staff. Because when she was chief of staff three weeks ago, she was about to pull her hair out. But no, she was work wife. She, 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 she. she but you remember, she had to start doing his. She had to start doing... She um, was getting Cyrus is right. She, she, she was, was getting practice. She know. She know now. She what know that, now. Man? See, the thing is, Abby got it, and I mean, if she got to kill somebody, she could do it. True. She's um, walked around forever with a gun in her pocketbook. They probably took it now, and she in the White House. But I'm just. Saying. I mean, she 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 has the balls. It, right? I mean, she. It's just when you become the chief of staff and stuff like that, you become a darker person. It's right. the truth. Like sometimes you really have to do. Bad things. You can't wear the white hat the at thing all. About, but the thing about being chief of staff is it's just a amazing power trip that you get addicted to. Like, I understand silence. it. That's why she's addicted right now. See, the whole that's what Liv was saying. The whole thing is the whole White House is like a power trip because the more the higher you get, the hungrier you get. You just want to get higher and higher and higher. And now that she's that's she said you got to sniff of that oval. It's over. Right. You see where the, the power is. is. It, exactly. Like, actually, the power is the chief of staff. Right. You can do whatever the f you want. Can, the chief of staff controls control the, the president. president. You can say, you can literally still live your life like a regular person, do whatever you want to do, and still influence the president. Like, that's crazy. Now, I didn't know that Fitz was going to go along with it so well, but he was straight like... Well, I mean, it was an easy way for him. He didn't have to do it. Hey, I mean... Because you remember, he didn't want to reinstate Cyrus anyway. Yeah. That was Olivia. That, that, that was definitely Cyrus's last strike. But this is my thing, because you know I had to bring you back. So you going to tell... What? I'm listening. Oh. I'm listening. You going to tell on Cyrus <laughs> about him working with the governor. You have yet to tell that Elizabeth North is the person who put out the footage of Fitz and Olivia, and you know that, but you keep that to yourself. You know what, Red? She be picking and choosing. Right, and I just can't do that. Like, that's your BFF. But, you know, Fitz is just like, all right. Well, shit, if you want, you can have the position, it's yours, but you gotta go find Cyrus. the thing about it is, how, how much longer Fitz got in the White House? Four months? You want to be the chief of staff for four months? Go right on ahead. I got shit to do. I think it's more than four months. Whatever. <laughs> I got shit to do. <laughs> whatever it is, I got shit to do. So, it's just like, whatever. Plate. I mean, he really don't trust Cyrus no more. So, Cyrus really, he hasn't really been taking Cyrus's advice right. anyway. He really does trust Abby. Abby. And Abby was born by Olivia Pope. So, and he knows she's cold. legit. That's the thing. Yeah, and Abby, Abby told. told. And Abby told him. Right. He didn't. She didn't tell him. Like he didn't have to find out anything through somebody else. Like right. he always has to do with That's a good point. She went straight to the source. Right. So you know she goes and she fires that ass, and he's like, "Oh, you did it." Um, yeah, bitch. Chappie. Oh, you really did the same thing to me. But I really don't know how this is gonna work out. Like how long Abby is gonna be this and for four months. <sighs> Whatever. Um. So, yeah, like I said, I'm really happy about them starting to film Marcus and more because I feel like if you're going to work at OPA, once they do start to trust you, you have to know everything or you will really be in there lost as fuck because so much has happened. I mean, this man doesn't even know that he's surrounded by killers. Right. Olivia Pope's a killer, too. Everybody in there has killed somebody. Everybody in there has killed somebody. I mean, so. some more than others. Some enjoyed it more than others, but 
still everybody in there has killed someone. So let's get to my favorite part of this whole episode. I entitle it The Argument. Dun, 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 dun. So Quinn and Liv argue. Quinn goes off on Liv and she's basically like, You a self assessed bitch. Sorry. You don't care about us. We are not family anymore. We haven't been a family since it was me, you, Huck, Abby, and Harrison. See, that's another thing I love about Quinn. She's loyal to Harrison. She Say still Harrison's misses him. Name. That's right. That's right. Say my name. Say my name. Keep him living. That's right. And she's like, you know, you abandon us whenever you want to. You left us for the White House. You left us for him. Your head is not in the game. It hasn't been in the game for a while. I run this shit, so don't try to make it seem like you want to be a family now. You don't even know that Huck wanted Yo, me to blow his brains up the other day. Almost, when was the last time you checked on Huck, bitch? That's exactly what, what she told me. I was like, because I looked at my timeline and those people like, who the fuck do Quinn think she is? Go off and show of OPA. She has the right. If anybody has the right, she got the right. Hmm. And Huck. Well, Huck is on his fucking, um, he's lost his fucking mind. So then Olivia, which I must say, I want Curry Washington to get a award for this little scene, but you know they're not going to get cool. it because them bitches are petty. Of course they're going to get into Taraji and Empire because she's going to carry a gun in her fucking purse with a chinchilla on one. Now, let me say something about Liv's argument. I loved her. She killed that. In acting, she killed that shit. But Olivia Pope is wrong. So, Olivia yeah. go. Now, I don't get me wrong. I'm very excited that she's finally opening up about her feelings about the kidnapping and how she really feels. Look when and, she had to be pushed to. Right, yada, yada, yada. I get that. But... Olivia, I'm a, I'm a need for you to sit the fuck down for just one quick moment I'm a need for while you I read your ass. The fuck out. First of all, Olivia, please go off. Don't talk about I finally, because I'm, I'm talking to Olivia, she's right here. Don't talk about I finally get to be selfish. I'm selfish. I choose. Bitch, you've been selfish. When have you not been selfish? You've been selfish since season one, episode on. one. Bitch, are you playing right it's now? It's always so, about are you. Are you serious it's right now? It's always about you. You can't. You can't. What you want to do. You can't be what, serious. What makes you, you know, you it's cannot. always about you. Bitch, you play. You fucking bitch, Gerald Grant is selfish all around anyway. Like, let's just start right there. Because yes. it does not only affect you, bitch. It affects, it affects everybody. Hold on. Everybody. It affected the United States of America on scandal. That's first and foremost. What the hell at the door? Somebody knocked on the door? I thought I heard somebody at the door. Oh, I hear it. <sighs> it. Broke me in the middle of my read, bitch, because I'm not done. Two... How dare you Go bring on. up the fucking kidnapping? Because I understand you were kidnapped, bitch, but don't make it seem like you're the only one that went through something. Let's talk about who helped to get you your ass back. back. Who was working night and fucking day to make sure you was Go back? On. Not only working night and day to make sure you was back, also handling OPA as a whole, bitch. What? Just for you to get back and act like nothing ever happened. Try to you act can't normal, talk bitch. About it. I don't care who feel like no. Olivia Pope don't need shit. No, that bitch needs to get counseling because I am tired of this kidnapping shit. She can't keep pulling this shit up. Bitch, if you want to keep talking about the kidnapping, let's go get some shit fixed. Let's go get some counseling right. for this bitch. This, this, this is my whole thing. If this kidnapping is going to fuck you up so bad to where you really feel like you can't run your business, then you need to get some counseling because the thing is, you have to remember with your selfish ass, self, you, it's it's my turn. It's not your turn. You can't be selfish. You're you're the boss. You Olivia Pope and associates. You are Olivia Pope. You cannot be selfish. You have people working for you. You have this made up crazy ass fucking family of people who depend on you. You can't be selfish. I'm sorry. It's like a mother. You know how mothers be like, you know, I ain't had no time to myself. I can't have no snacks. Well, you the one who had this fucking big head ass baby. Give them some of your snacks. Olivia, you have been selfish since day one. How fucking dare you? Like, we won't even talk about you just leaving them for fits. Okay? How about when you left and went to a fucking island, bitch? You see, because I'm not over that shit. 
You know, I'm still not over that season. How about when you took all of OPA to try to take down fucking B613? You just use them as your fucking mop. Like, they they just do whatever the fuck you want them to do. But then, oh, I'm done, y'all. I'm... You know what? I know I just made y'all, you know, everybody almost died because I had, you know, we shut down B613. But now I'm going to fuck the president, so... It's my turn. Bitch, when is it when my is turn? When is your turn? When is it somebody else's turn? Don't do that, Liv. See, don't do that. You should have just let Quinn say what she had to say. You should have just took it and shut the fuck, fuck up. up. And you know what else you could have kept? The goddamn little uh, explanation that you did at the end. I did it because I know that I can trust you to do it. I know that I can have you to do OPA. Okay. Shut the fuck up. Who the fuck do I look like? I'm not the fucking janitor. Is I'm- this somebody at the door? Can you get the door? Where is this key? He lost it, goddamn asshole. I can't even read Olivia Pope the way that I need to because there's people at the goddamn door. But yeah, Olivia Pope tried it. And y'all know, I do not play that Olivia Pope bashing, but she needed to be read because she is out of control. That she is. Yeah, and then when Quinn was like, and bitch, you're not, your head not even in the game right now, not because of some old other shit, because you're too busy, busy stalking your, your ex-boyfriend, who you claim you don't give a fuck about. Oh. But you're stalking his ass. Oh. Oh, okay. But the thing about it is, you gonna go, I got a right to be selfish, your selfish ass ain't put those fucking cameras up in his shit. Who did it? Quinn and Charlie. Oh, because you know she don't get her hands dirty. <laughs> Not at all. So we got like Susan. Pill, pop a pope. Susan Red fits his ass, which I just love so much. Every and you, Finn Finn said, constantly reads fits. So Nan says she thinks Fitz is starting to like being red though. He he loves to be talked to like shit. He lo- he lives for it. And last but not least, the ending was confusing to me because it was like, okay, Liv, what are you doing? See, this is what I mean, Shonda. This is what this is exactly. What I'm talking about like, right Like, don't have here. her obsessed with this Jake shit. So, you going to let her sit and be influenced by Huck's decision on how, you know, he just needs to let go because it's not any good. It's not going to work. You so really? She goes to Jake and I, 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 I've been acting like, like this because you. I miss you. You could have said any fucking thing. I've been acting like this because I really thought you and my father were up to something. But you know what I realized? That's none of my motherfucking business. Because I have my own life. I have my own company. And I just need to start running my own shit. So whatever y'all about to fuck up, enjoy. Count me out. I would have took that better than the, I really been missing you. See, the thing is, is that every time Jake does read her, it's at the wrong time. It's never the right one. This was when I wanted him to read her. See, this is when I be wanting her to sh- him to shut her ass down. He don't know how to shut her ass down. When she does shit like this, as soon as she said I miss you, he should have been like, I don't care. I don't give a fuck. I, I have my other my girl. girlfriend going her way. Like, this is when I want you to shut her down. Thank God that the girlfriend came and something clicked in Liv's fucking head. Thank because you, for a Lord. minute, I thought she was about to go to the dumb roll and just be like, no, because they, they're really not doing anything. Y'all, I do not know what... Papa Pope and Jacob up to, but I'm definitely with Liv on that part. They're up to something. Definitely. I don't know what that girl got to do with it. I I know everybody was saying that they start to think that Jake might run for president, but I'm I'm kind of iffy on that. Like he could be, but at the same time, I don't think so. I don't think so. He really don't have no credentials, but neither does. Neither Donald Trump. Right. Uh, I mean, but he definitely doesn't have the money. I mean, he got B six thirteen money he, though. Neither one of them were could be six thirteen anymore. Who? Who? Who worked for B six thirteen? Jake and Papa Pope. They did. That's that's for life. Oh, I didn't know. B six thirteen. Even when they say they're not, they are. Are you crazy? Uh, are you being fooled by Olivia Pope? Pope? I just I really didn't. Know. You can't get out of B six thirteen. Oh, unless you die. Yeah, it's oh, okay. a life thing. You die when you die in heaven. You still a B six thirteen agent. A, it's like being an usher. Exactly. Well, actually, B six thirteen agents are going to hell. So, now, you know what the thing is? They might not be going to hell because the thing about it is, I've I've been thinking about this. They may not be going to hell because you know when you become a B six thirteen agent, it's either you become this B six thirteen agent or we kill you and your family. Kill so me. you really have no choice. Kill me. Take me to the king. 
Oh. Yeah. Oh. Um, hating love people of the week. I hate this fucking show. So, I hate Shonda. I hate Shonda Rhimes. I hate Jake. I hate Jake. Yeah. I hate, I hate Hollis. I, I hate Melly. I hate Melly. I hate Cyrus. I hate, I hate Hollis. Um, I don't hate Olivia, but I still don't fucking like her. She's on a timeout. Okay? I, like, I, don't I don't want to give like her a hate her. person, but she's she's. Definitely... I don't like her. Because I, I said it the other day, Olivia Pope has been a thorn in my side since February the 11th. Like, le- no. No, no. I'm sorry. Not February 11th. November. The, when did the LCD come out? Like the 19th or something? So Olivia Pope's probably been a thorn in my side since probably like November the 18th yeah, of 2015. Around that, around that area. You know, like she's just... I don't even, I can't even give it a hate person. Just sit the fuck down. Just, mm, just get the Don't up. say nothing and sh- shut up. Shut right, up, nigga. Right. Shut up! We rexing her. We definitely rexing Liv. Love people. I love Abby. Abby's taking power. And Shonda, yeah. I see what you're doing. See, the whole thing with Shonda is she's going to get this women empowerment thing across one way or fucking another. We about to run this shit. Like, the whole White House is about to be ran by women. I don't think y'all understand what Shonda's hitting to. It's now two women chief of staff. It's a woman vice president. Because, like... And then you got Olivia Pope walking around the number one woman. Like, right. Okay, um, Ab- so Abby Fitz, because he was making smart decisions this episode, finally. Yeah, Abby and Fitz. Um, Quinn. Quinn, definitely. I liked Marcus this episode. Did you like him? Fuck Marcus. She's still not there, y'all. I'm sorry. And I love Charlie. He's so cute. Huck is not on my hate list. I mean, hey, he was just being Huck. Huck was just trying to protect his family. I so, love I love Huck. He always has a special place in my heart because you know what? I really want to hold him like I am. Um, Don't start. He needs to be held. He is just a tortured soul. So, make sure y'all come on in and comment. I know some of y'all are still going to be upset. I know Scandal is still somewhat confusing and it's hard to keep up, but... We got to do this. We just have to do this. Hold on. We're going to be fine. Just hold on. If this is your first time watching, make sure you subscribe. We'll be here every Thursday with a new Scandal Review and on Mondays with entertainment news. Will we be here every Thursday? Yes, we will. For the people who always watch, make sure you comment, share this video, tell a friend to tell a friend, tell your mother, your cousin, your sister, your brother, tell somebody about the show. We're going to go because we have to watch How to Get Away with Murder season finale. If this show is somewhat late because I'm not sure if it is or if it's not. I'm sorry. Comcast played me. Wi-Fi's fucking up. How about through? I don't know. I really don't know, but I might have to upload this at work. I'm not sure, but I love you guys, and I will see you next Thursday for an all-new scam review. I, I might have to watch a sneak peek this week because the previews really didn't do much for me for what's happening in scam next remember. week. I, yeah, like it, I really don't I don't know, but Shonda, I don't know about you either. But yeah, we're going to go. So man, take a look. And if you didn't know, now you know there is no show like the show. Keep us in prayer. You know what? I'm sorry. I do have one more thing to say about that whole Shonda thing. I do agree with some of y'all now. Like, my whole thing now is Shonda... Because the presidential race can't last forever. So where exactly are you taking this show? Because you taking the heart and soul out, okay? I'm accepting that, though, because I love this show and I love you and I love You're the characters. You're taking this show to hell. But where we go from here? Because I just feel like if you're going to take a list from us, why aren't you taking a lake? I don't understand. But it's cool. Y'all have a good weekend. All day.